Hello. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hey. How's it going? We should uh, smoke something, huh? Absolutely. What you smoking on? Um... LCG. LCG. Yeah. I'm smoking on um, Goofies. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, man. You do what you gotta do. Yeah. How's everybody in the chat? What's up? What's going on? What's everybody smoking on? I think the background. That was a cool. Thank you so much. I had to kind of puppeteer it from back here. Um. Yeah. So that was a video I made with my bearded dragon. Um, and then I originally had music going to it, although it wasn't really music, it's more like avant-garde noise stuff that I do. Um, I do make music, but I also make, I really enjoy just making noise. That's fun. Um, threw it all in a jar, not sure the name, but it be Flower Man. Hell yeah, that's cool. I highly encourage people to also make up uh, names of strains if they don't know what they're smoking. Just because it's funny. Sometimes people come up with really funny answers, but I also think that um, just throwing around names of strains that don't really exist is kind of a funny concept because eventually those do become strange. G Joe number three. <laughs> G Joe number three. I like it. Me too. Hell yeah, man. Sounds like it's a sativa. G Joe. Yeah, that's a sativa. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So, how you been, Ben? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Pinzer. Fuck right. yeah. You want to hear some shit I made in high school? All right. So let me turn it up a little bit. <coughs> it's noisy. <coughs> but um, you okay? this is something I made by uh, getting a recording of my friend playing, playing guitar. And then I chopped it up and I turned it into a drum beat. Like I sampled it and used the samples as if those that was the drum pattern so uh it doesn't really have a name but i made this in high school so it's probably like 2007 anyway here it is
But I think that's my probably my favorite thing I've ever made. I feel like I feel like that was when I peaked. <laughs> um, so I make stuff like that, and then I also make stuff like this. Yes, that was very, that was very good. You're muted, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> I think I'm going to finish this painting a lot sooner than I initially thought. Oh, yeah? Can yeah. we get a peek? Um, yes. Just give me one moment. Because it's such a big book, book it's hard to navigate. Okay. So here's the first. Oh shit. Here's, here's the first you. one. It's up to you. Dum dum. All right, hold on. Okay. And here's the first one. I love it. Here's the second one. Bro. That's sick. 
Here's the third one. Man, that's really cool. And here's the one I'm working on now. Oh, that's cool. You're off to a good start on that one. Thank you. And there's only 15 pages in this book, so. Oh, you're going to whiz right I know. I know. I'm like. <laughs> I've done like five paintings. Sorry, I froze. No, I froze too. It's all right. I think it's just our internet. Oh, yeah, man. Everybody's smoking on in the chat. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, tell us. Tell us. Thank you so much, though, Finzer. I appreciate that. Elsa. Question mark? Elsa? Question mark? El Elsa? Question mark? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's, those are the best kind of people to collect. I've been doing that too. Oh, get it, you froze, gotcha. Elsa. No. Uh, yeah, well, no, no I'm the dumb one. I'm the dumb one. <laughs> Shit, sorry. No, you're good. No, you rock. You rock. You all rock. Just heard this trick. I had one in here that I couldn't find. One what? What? I had a track in here that I had downloaded, but now I can't find it. Go through them. See what you can find. Here it is. What? Number That's one. a lot of beans. That's a whole lot of beans. Yeah, let me let me. There you go. Sour strawberry. Creativity and anxiety. Mm -hmm. I want it. I want that kind. That's that's right up my street. Exactly. Years. Fun. Can't wait to start doing music again. Hell yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I gotta figure out how I can soundproof the basement so I can drum. <laughs> yeah. Gonna start collecting egg cartons like crazy. Oh fuck yes! You're jumping. Cheers. Man. <clears throat> I gotta record some more little terpene soon. Oh, you should. Um, do you require mine assistance? I I think I do. <clears throat> I think I will for sure. Okay. Because um, not only can I use help just setting everything up and recording, but um, it's also good to get ideas from other people. Yeah. 
Like, you might be like, oh, hey, since he said this, why don't we get a shot of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> Which one are you going to be working on first? Um, you, don't have <clears throat> you can email me about it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta look at the um, the set list, so to speak, for, <laughs> for uh, season two. Yeah, I see. I I understand what you mean. So that I know which one would make more sense for me to work on. <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> yes. Ben just said okay. I just beat the last was two amazing game. Thanks for recommending it for a while back. Yes. Love that series, love that game. Yes. Great so series. glad. So glad you played it. Oh, you should. Absolutely. You definitely should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, I was randomly gifted an electric violin. So now I'm inspired to violin. And I don't play any strict instruments, so it's going to be an interesting family. I have like a, I have basic knowledge of guitar. I really suck at chords because of the finger placement, and it's, I just get super fucking confused. I can't do it. <clears throat> but, um, I got scared by a beetle. It took five long nights. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> It's awesome. You know what? No. Okay. Oh, it's up here. Up there, so I was just curious. You guys were brainstorming. Oh, this is on online. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't we wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> uh, right. We don't typically work on uh, Green creative <laughs> stuff live. I mean, like if it's if it's something like we're putting a graphic together, like Wes will do like the uh, Watch Me Works and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but when we're working on um, like story related content, we tend to do that offline. We'll do like a recording, like an offline recording session. So we'll record the whole thing. And then we'll all just like joke around and talk and try to get some work done. <clears throat> oh hell yeah. Here's Judas. How's it going, man? Okay, Judas. What's up, dude? Hope you're doing good. We're just chilling out. Doing some rips. Fuck yeah. Um, if you and Wes are down for a uh, work session tonight, I am down. I am also down, but so I don't know me. what Wes's dealio is. Okay. I'll, I'll probably play Dragon's Dogma until um, we figure out what's going on with that. Alright, there you go. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. It's a really good game, and I think that um, I only have, like, a couple small gripes with it. I think uh, the photo mode needs, like, a makeover. Like, they just need to, like, scrap it and redo it. Because um, you can't adjust the lighting. And for, which game? for uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, there's a oh, photo. So I, didn't if you know want, that I try to get like a screenshot or something. You can go into the photo mode and it kind of pauses the game and then you can move the camera around. My second gripe with the photo mode is the camera mode because it's permanently fixed to your character. Mm -hmm. so you can't like separate the camera from your character and like oh, line up shots. Dang. It's just like you're kind of like constantly in orbit of your character. 
Mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Totally. You can't like put them like to the left of the camera. Yeah, it can't be like an artistically angled shot. Yeah. As so, we, um, I, I totally get what you're saying. That's yeah. really unfortunate. Yeah. So it's mostly that and the AI is a little... Uh, the artificial intelligence isn't very intelligent sometimes. How do you mean? Like, um, sometimes if there's a path and two AI are walking, one mm -hmm. will get stuck on the other. And that's not always an issue. But unless, like, if it's a quest giver and they're like, hey, follow me, and then you're following them, and then they get stuck on someone in the road, they're stuck doing that awkward hallway dance like you both <laughs> move over here and then you both move over there and then you both patiently wait and then you both do the same thing you know what i mean yeah and it's like when you're trying to follow someone and get a quest done and then they're just like stun locked by someone just standing there it's like really aggravating yeah but um cheers cheers man. I, got, I got around that by just doing a shitload of other quests and stuff but um yeah it's a game that's like really cool and big and uh it gives me like um kind of reminds me like the first time i played morrowind i love morrowind it just has a very big world that's mysterious and uh, there's like a lot of shit going on. Oh, and, uh, I don't know. It's cool. Oh, I scratched my neck. Game looks hard to run on PC. Yeah, like you have to have, <laughs> you have to have like a top of the line PC to be able to run Dragon's Dogma, and it might not even run at a full 60 frames per second. There, I've noticed on consoles there is. There are some frame rate dips, uh, mostly in the cities. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes during combat, there are some frame rate dips, and they're not super noticeable. But when you go into an area that's like highly populated, it's like it almost makes you feel like you're playing an MMO. Oh, it's just like it's so choppy. Damn. Um, I don't know. I feel like they'll fix that in the future with a patch or whatever. Yeah, I mean, the game did just come out. Yeah. yeah. I love Morrowind. Like, I love the exploration in Morrowind. I love the lore in Morrowind. But the combat system really aggravates me. Because it's yeah. based on dice rolls. So you're standing there swinging, and sometimes you'll miss, and there's absolutely no reason to miss other than the fact that you... Basically, in the game said that you rolled a really shitty dice roll. Mm -hmm. And it happens more often than not if you're a lower level. So then you'll just have like this this cliff racer, which is like a giant pterodactyl just screeching, just <laughs> like, and you're like, eh, 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 and it's just, miss, 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 hit. And then the hit that you did basically did fucking nothing. Yeah, fuck all. Yeah. But the exploration and the environments were really cool in that game. That's what kept me playing. And I like that they did, like, like there would just be, like, random shit hidden, it felt like, throughout that game. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. You should do it. Blow up the graphics card. But yeah, if you're, uh, I so far, I don't want to, um, I don't want to give an official review on the game because I haven't beat it, and uh, it's a really, it's a pretty big game. So I guess so far, what I'm gonna say is, if you are a, um, if you're an FPS snob, and you've uh, been spoiled by games that are all in 60 frames per second that have performance mode, this game might irritate you. 
Um, oh, the fast travel. So, I don't know. I kind of like that the fast travel is kind of, it's weird. Like, so to get around in Dragon's Dogma, you have to either hop on an ox cart, which are kind of infrequent. Like, if you see an ox cart, it's kind of like, oh, shit, there's an ox cart, let's hop on. Because you don't see them that often. Or you have to pick up, like, some stone, and then you have to put one stone in one place, and then you have to put this other stone in a different place, and it allows you to fast travel between those two points. But outside of that, you're pretty much, you're hoofing it the whole time. You're just walking. Um, cheers. Cheers, Wes. So, um... The fast travel isn't like most RPGs where you can just be like, well, I've discovered this location, I've discovered this location, I can just go from here to here like that. Um, you have to have things already set up to be able to fast travel there. And when you hop on the ox cart, you can't tell the ox cart to go to a certain place. They go on a route. So you can tell your you can have your character fall asleep on the ox cart, but um, you can't necessarily control exactly when you wake up. So you could wake up and be near your destination. You could wake up and pass it, <coughs> or you could wake up to the ox cart getting attacked. And if the ox cart gets destroyed, then you're stuck walking it from wherever you are. So I kind of like how realistic the travel is. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't mind walking from place to place anyway, because that just means you're leveling your character up more. You know, just going from place to place. Oh, so, yeah. And more... I understand how it would bother some people. Huh? Are there ra random encounters in this game? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Like some of a lot of them are like sort of scripted, but um, I've had some, yeah, right, yeah, I think it's cool. Um, we've had some cool encounters where like I'll be, I'll be fighting a group, and then another group steps into the fight, and uh. I saw you can grab harpies. I'm going to have to try that. Because um, I hopped onto a griffin today. And he's like, oh, yeah. And he, we flew up into the sky. And he just flew, like, he flew to somewhere I've never even been before. Like, super <laughs> high in the sky. And then eventually my character got tired from hanging on. And my stamina got too low. So then I let go, and I just fell from wherever I was. Oh, my God. And it was that is amazing. And I just went splat on the ground and just instantly, like, <coughs> had to load back from the save file. The save file system is kind of weird, and I'm not sure if I like that either. Because um, you only have one save file, and it saves over itself. And you can, you can load your game from the last time you saved your game or the last time you stayed at in. And there are benefits to that, but like if you wanted to have multiple characters going at the same time, you can't really do that. Oh, damn. Which is something that I do well. But... <laughs> You're like, I know because it's me. Yeah, I know because... <laughs> that's something I wanted to do. Like in Skyrim, I would start like five different characters and then I would level everyone up by like five and then I would switch to the next one and level them up by five and then switch to the next one. But I'd do like all different like fighting and playing styles just to get like the, the feel for what the game had to offer. And um, yeah. So it's a shame you can't do that, but um, it kind of makes you more committed in the character you're actually playing, in a way. 
Rascally Rabbit said, I love you, Game Pro Guy. You look like a wizard. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I dig it. Uh, per Vault says, Fall Down Rocks. Fall Down Rocks. Yes. Yeah. You can actually pick up giant ass rocks in that game. And sometimes you can do kind of clever and cheeky things with them. Like, okay. If you're standing up like really like like from a, a a pretty high height and you chuck like a big boulder down at an enemy, depending on how you hit him and what the enemy is, sometimes you can do like a shitload of damage. And um other times they're like they're structures that aren't totally stable. And sometimes you can throw the rocks at those structures to destroy them. And uh, you can break the bridges in the game, too. So, like, there, you could have a giant monster coming at you. And then if you get them on the bridge and you want to sacrifice the bridge, you could, like, cut the ropes on the bridge. The bridge falls and then the monster does, too. And they take a bunch of damage because they're super heavy and they're falling, you know, from a great height. I'm scarier out of here. <laughs> That's in the chat. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that energy from Wes right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So sorry for talking to everyone's ear off about this game. Don't, don't. I just think it's, I think it's really cool. It's flawed, but it's really cool. They're doing a lot of things better than other RPGs have. Bro, give me a color that is not green. Um... There are other colors besides green. Yeah. That's crazy. Can you do like a um just trying to think of an interesting color for you. How about blue? What but kind like of a color? um Like lighter than a navy blue, I guess as as blues you can make it. Yeah, that yeah, this yeah, one? yeah, that one. Okie dokie, artichoke. Cheers, I gotta get fresh water. I gotta show you guys my water. Hold on. Oh, you can't see it. Fuck. <laughs> mm, yum yum black water i've heard i'm not sure if this is entirely true but i've heard that blue is a color that helps uh, stimulate creativity hold on bro i can't hear you that's okay Oh yeah, I've had that bearded dragon for like maybe eight years now. When I first got him, he was tiny. He was super small. I need to drink ink. They're really cool. I only ever got bit by him once. And I think it was because he was confused. But man, when he bit me, he bit he bit the tip of my middle finger on this hand. 
and he got me like right along the bottom and then he actually bit halfway through my nail on the top so then i my i got my finger out and i looked and i just had these little tiny uh like pinholes on my nail that all just started bleeding at the same time and uh because their teeth are serrated and super sharp just crazy sharp But they're really cool. Shit. I wasn't going to do black. I was going to do a blue. Fuck. You could do black and blue. Actually, while I'm up here, watch this. <laughs> Whoa, German giant dragon. What's up? That's nice. Hey, cheers, Randy. Damn. Damn. Oh, hey, Randy. I had a friend who owned a type of monitor lizard. I think it's a type of monitor lizard. It's called a tegu. And, uh, I believe you can actually see one in um, briefly on in Dagobah in uh, Empire Strikes Back in the swamp. Oh, you can briefly see one running around. But there, it's a really big lizard with huge claws. And uh, I went over to my friend's house. He's like, hey, I'll bring down the tegu. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, expecting, like, this small, like, lizard. And he comes down with this fucking, like, Godzilla of a lizard. And it's fucking huge. And he brings it down. He's like, hey, guys, so this is the tegu. And immediately it does, like, this velociraptor hiss thing. And then it looks down and it sees this rug. And then it just starts blasting piss like a fire hose. <laughs> like with so much force and a lot of it. Just so much, so much lizard piss. Just blasting this carpet. And then he's he was holding the lizard. He's like, oh God. And he just like didn't know what to do. And then the lizard stopped pissing. And he's like, oh man, he never liked this rug. And then brought the lizard back upstairs, and I'm like, hold up. There have been other incidents with this rug? You're certain it's the rug? Like, I want to know. I, I never asked him until, like, years later, I thought about it. And I'm like, what else happened with the rug that made him say that the lizard <laughs> right. the rug? Bizarre. How bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that was a fun experience I had. That was cool. Could be the color of the rug, maybe. Or like a designer pattern in it. Maybe it reminds him of snakes. He freaks out. He's like, not in my house. Not my house. As you do when you don't like something in your house, you piss on it. Yeah, you piss on it, sure. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just pictured like a lizard like in a um like in in a, a work shirt. With like a tie and like reading glasses <laughs> to do their taxes. And they just throw the taxes on the ground and start pissing on them. Just like, you know what? Just fucking. Ah, there we go. What is it? A tegu in a business outfit? Yes. Pissing on taxes? 
You're goddamn right. Gecko with a shiv. Man. I feel like that'd be a cool video game character. A Tego? No, a, a gecko with a shiv. A gecko with a shiv. Like you're stuck in some sort of animal prison. Not a zoo, like an actual like an animal prison. Like Zootopia, but like a <laughs> but like a real <laughs> <final video. laughs> Like if you mixed Oz with Zootopia. Yeah, and a little bit of Grand Theft Auto. That'd be great. Which apparently Grand Theft Auto 6 got pushed back to like 2026 or some shit. Uh, yeah. Because they just released that trailer and it's like, I don't know. <clears throat> it seemed like they were going for a much sooner release date, but then there's all this shit that happened with the company. And, you know. And a take you get loose in the walls of her house for like two months. That's crazy. Uh oh. That's not good. It's wild. You've seen snakes on a plane. Get ready for take you in the walls. <laughs> take you in the walls. Play this game. <laughs> That'd be a good ad for the game. Just the gecko standing there. Like, hey, you better play my game. If you don't play my game, I ship you. And then, blam, it's just like a bunch of like action shots of the game. The ad that's playing out in my head feels kind of like a Crash Bandicoot ad for, like, the PlayStation 1. Me and my drummer tried to smoke him out. Oh, Ooh. shit. Who, the gecko? No, oh, the Tegu. <laughs> Damn. I assume tried means it didn't work. Okay, look at this. Oh, shit. Look Yo. at this guy. Hey there. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey. <coughs> How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. I'm in a, a great mood. Always in a great mood. Love and life. Yeah. Yeah, the delays of life, the, the, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm in a great mood. Uh, I've had a good day. <laughs> Went to the park. I tried every the park vibe book. I could. It went okay, I guess. It went okay. Yeah. The kids were, I have video where they were disappointed, uh, you know, at the end. It was uh, not what they had right. hoped it was going to be. Yeah. It was what I knew it was going to be. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, there were toddlers. There were a lot of toddlers on a Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coughing, sick, just blowing snot everywhere, toddlers. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, delicious. Mm. We found some swings way at the back of the, the park that no one was around. Uh, Park's got a, a frisbee golf going through it and everything, and it's kind of a pain in the ass getting up that hill to those swings. But uh, they had fun there. That's cool. But I I need a buzz. Oh yeah. And then I'm hoping I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke this with you guys and then I'm probably gonna bail and uh, launch uh, reboot and then launch After Effects and get a bunch of things that uh, I have to do with After Effects. I can't be running OBS and all this crap with uh, After no, Effects yeah. running. Mm -hmm. cool. Very Sounds cool, good. man. Yeah, 
Gary's, Gary, you know, I didn't get that over to him, and I told him he'd have it today because he asked me about it, and it's, so I've got to get that thing done tonight, and there's several things I want to do. The overlays we were talking about uh, so that these can be over top and everything like that. Uh, got to use After Effects to produce the, the transparent movie files and everything. Premiere won't do those. <laughs> and I, uh, I came up with some good things uh, for for uh, Stone the Funk Fest that's coming up. Oh, I, good! I got some music written. I got some uh, some things actually worked out for that. So I do that to get the buzz going in my body. I pick up the bass and then hey, something productive. That's awesome. That's what that's what I was doing earlier during that last that last live, while Maine was just you know whatever. It's like uh, <laughs> oh my you know, god, that is fucking hilarious. They don't well, need me. I it, could I could check out and grab my bass and just start. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was that's one of those. Beauty, that's the beauty of Maine, because when he shows up, he takes so much pressure off of you as a host slash entertainer. It's like, you know what, I, I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to let this run its course. And uh, I'm sure we'll all get a couple of good laughs. And uh, I think we did. Okay, I recorded some stuff over in OBS while while it was going. I just, I, there were some, hey, this this pattern works. This could be a song. Let me go through this. And then there was one, I know I, know I was doing vocals about sitting in a crazy live kind of talking about Maine and this oh mm -hmm. this is unbelievable I can't believe I'm here you know that sort of thing that was good <laughs> it kind of makes me want to write a skit where like uh, it's presented like it's a sports uh, network you know like someone changed the channel like TV static and it goes to you know like the, the sports network and it's all about uh, plowing like the, the plowing um the plowing olympics hey hey so they already have tractor pulls which are basically <laughs> that uh mm -hmm. they already have those things at fairs uh mm -hmm. the the gorn gorn was the first impression of a tv character that i had sydney do when she was young uh because uh one of the rituals once they're old enough to to watch any tv well, you got to watch Star Trek, the original series. And uh, and the Gorn, ah, there's video of oh, there's a the, little kid doing the Gorn walk. They're, they're almost not too different than a zombie, really. Well, now they are, though. Uh, oh, yeah. The, uh, 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 the Gorn are the big, they're eating people. They're just, they're, they're really vicious. They're like predator kind of things. I mean, uh, uh, hunting, uh, going hunting people for sport and all that in the uh, Strange New Worlds, which is Captain Pike when uh, Spock was aboard the ship before, was aboard Enterprise before it was Kirk's Enterprise. Pike's the one that ends up, you know, this, in, uh, he's the past captain they did the menagerie about. Uh, who's in the chair and everything there that they are uh, blinking once for yes and twice for no, that kind of thing. So apparently there are annual plowing competitions in uh, Canada. So that makes sense. But I, I think it'd be funny if in the skit, like the people are riled up like it's a football game and they're all tailgating and you got people wearing capes that have tractors on them like like doing like the people's like jumping off of a car and doing the people's elbow through like a, a plastic uh table is it hitting is it hitting a nascar vibe or more college oh, football yeah. vibe i didn't know Maybe if they were going to be like a combination you know, like a combination. Sunoco, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tide detergent, all the different, you know. Oh, yeah. 
like the actual, the, the actual tractor. tractor yeah the actual people who are driving the tractors would totally have like the the nascar sponsor patches everywhere oh, yeah. and all that stuff one of them would have to be sponsored by jankum jerry's oh. jankum jerry's jankum could be sponsoring and putting on the entire event it could oh, be a, a part of what goes on at the jankum games the oh, jankum yeah. games we've got uh We've got a, a big a big week of sports uh, ahead for you here at the Jankum Games. Everybody, uh, bring your family. Mm -hmm. I think this to the is Jank exciting. Jankum Casino and Resort, right mm -hmm. next to that big ass sphere they just put in. Uh, oh, yeah. It's it's a big balloon. It's a it's a bomb <laughs> and a big balloon. And it's, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there's a big statue of him out front with a fountain. You know, he's he's the statue out front of the uh, of the casino. Not that Gorn, he squeezed him pretty good. Ah, oh, as 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 Kirk was banging down on him. Not that Gorn. Oh. Are you talking about uh, Spock? When Spock knocked uh, Kirk all over the ship. <laughs> Those flying two feet kicks. The, the, I know the show too well. <laughs> um. Ricardo. Now that guy had Riz. Oh yes. Khan. He he was what I mean, that was a that was like a lifer. She was gonna be in. She was a good officer. And she was just taken over by Khan. Hey, you're gonna join me now. Yes. I'm gonna join you now. Riz Master. Riz Although Master. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think he's got a lot of Riz. Obviously Kirk has a lot of Riz. The Riker has a lot of Riz, too. Oh, my God. Like a... <laughs> Riker might be the Riz master. <laughs> Riker's the one getting the most action. Yeah. Riker's the one getting the most action. Mm -hmm. Riker's trying the hardest. Riker's, you know. Mm -hmm. He is a horny little bitch. He that had Riker. a hologram woman. He had a hologram one, and Min yet, because that was who the alien thought was the mother. Because they pulled these images from his mind, and no, no, that's not a real person. Oh, you screwed up, little alien dude. <laughs> I see through this. <laughs> I know those episodes. I, I know a lot of Star Trek Voyagers. How you'll stump me. I, I've never made it past four seasons, and I, I can't remember anything of the first four seasons. I really don't give a shit. I, I really never could get into it. Never watched it, but I played the video game for Voyager. It was actually pretty cool. It was kind of a, it was like a Half Life clone, first person. I could never era. just Even the dynamic stuff. of the characters. There was never anything I could get into. There was yeah. never any that I. I I don't know. I really wanted to like it. I've tried to watch it. I've tried to watch it twice uh, and can't. Just in the fourth season, it's I can't put another night into this. I, I think I that I think that um, that iteration was mostly about uh, I mean, a lot of them are about hot women in spandex. But I mean, you had uh, what was it? Six of seven of nine. Seven of Jerry nine. Ryan. Jerry Ryan. I almost Ryan. said seven of eleven. That that would have worked too. That would have worked too. She was in the Picard. Uh, she right. ended up uh, in the Picard series and everything. Yeah. Uh, they they went once she joined the cast. It was clear what they're trying to do to to get ratings. I think it made it through like seven seasons or something. Uh, oh yeah. All the other series, I've enjoyed. Uh, Discovery was. Discovery was good, and then Discovery's writing just went to shit. And I, I, I hated the writers. I started just cursing every episode. <laughs> Fuck, 
Fuck. Get to the fucking... You, oh. As opposed to following a main character or maybe two main characters and their personal stories in the action that's going on, they decided that every episode they had to keep up with every fucking character's personal on a deep level and there had to be a deep conversation about everybody's fucking dynamic going on in yeah. every and so the whole episode was that and it was now there was a red alert like 20 minutes ago i'm i'm sitting here and i know everyone's dead now if you're all talking this much <laughs> while this is going on go do the work and then talk after you know fi <laughs> fix the problem Fix the the lithium chamber, whatever the fuck it is, and then get back and and talk about things. Let go. First two seasons were really good. I liked the first two, and then the writing just went to shit. You need to go. I'm, I'm high. I'm sorry. I'm bad one. No, we're talking about good. Star Trek. We're talking oh, about yeah. Star Trek. I need you know, to uh, take Julia. Okie dokie. Nobody cared about the Doctor's Day on Enterprise. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Doctor's Day. Now was it? Was it when they had? Uh, oh, Enterprise. Are we talking the Enterprise the series or Enterprise the ship? Because there was a series Enterprise, and that was. Uh, Dr. Flox was the serial, uh, he was an alien doctor uh, who had bats and all sorts of different, he, he, he would have, you know, oh, well, this is how we solve this, and we only get it from this kind of skink thing, you know, and so we're going to milk it and use those. I mean, yeah, we can synthesize most anything, but no, I need these. I need these for some reason. It made no sense. Yeah. Wait, I do not have a dog. Oh my goodness. Oh, what no. a twist. Oh no. Da, da, Nobody da. That's sad. She would be on the Enterprise. Ah. Enterprise. The ah, look at that. Yeah. Fucking. Look at that. Uh, Wordplay, a wordplay. Uh, this this next hits in honor of your wordplay, Purbolt. That's it. <laughs> love you, man. Okay, I, I love the little skits he's putting together. I love the little things he's putting together for his uh his Hangover show. Hell yeah, he's lying. He won't stop. <laughs> Can't touch us. That's okay. We don't watch him. Too. Oh man, Witty. Yeah, I'd have been here earlier, but uh, the the communication time got pushed back, yeah, and so don't I was, worry about I was it, waiting. It's all good. Well, I'm kind of a little stressed about it, but now I'm doing okay, and I'm liking this. I'm loving this. I'm 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 After Effects. I'm just gonna I'm gonna launch it. I'm gonna shut everything down because everything's been running, and and then just have After Effects up. That way, it'll all render. Otherwise, it's it, it. I'm just sitting there to even. And with graphics, you're you're timing it, right? You're yeah. timing the fade. You're time. So if you can't get real time, uh, and you've got to wait for it to go through and do all the rendering, it's it gets very frustrating. You you feel like you're working on an old computer. You know, you're like, oh god, what am I waiting on? Is this a 57 bot in K modem? You know what what's going on here? It's like dial up in a JPEG loading. Yeah. If they, if for those of you out in the audience that know, it's like J, uh, JPEGs loading during dial up. It's, it's just would load in like. Yeah. Chunks. <laughs> You'd get it going across. Oh look, here we are. Huh? Fuck man. I'm stoned now. I'm feeling stoned. Oh hell yeah. I I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead because I don't care. Pole vault. Don't tell anybody. And I don't mind that if anybody does a deep dive and they find out in the middle of this, uh, there is going to be an appearance. Uh, be, uh, do you know who should sing Super Freak and more in first person about themselves? 
Who is a very kinky girl? Oh, man. Who is going to be singing uh, th that it's at the Fun Fest? Uh, uh, I'm a super freak. Super freak. I'm super freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That was, it's like, okay, shit. I know that works. I know that works. I know the li I know that all works. I know I can put that together. Rascally Rabbit says, "Let's Welcome all back. try really hard to get too high to make it to twelve more minutes." I'm, I can in, do that. I can make it. What to happens 12. in twelve minutes? What happens in twelve it's, minutes? I don't know if I can do that. I feel threatened. What happens in twelve minutes? I feel worried. It's then it's then it's midnight, I guess. Oh, oh is that it's, okay, okay? I was, I thought there was danger in twelve minutes. <laughs> yes, my rabbit says, like, "Can we all make it to midnight?" Oh, dude, we... I'll be. I usually see four. <laughs> it's really sleep. I don't know what that is anymore. I laid down and took a twenty-minute nap. I did lay down and took a 20 minute nap <laughs> earlier today. It's like, I just, I gotta lay here for a second. <laughs> and I knew it wouldn't be long because I knew there'd be a kid come out and shake me. Hey, Dad, when are we going to the park? Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go to the park. Yeah, we'll go to the park. I made sure and got plenty of sad videos. Oh, here the kids are disappointed in this. <laughs> <laughs> there's one where they where they just it's me at the end well here we are the kids are the kids have experienced the park <laughs> what do you think kids you seem disappointed little girl was and I said well we're never coming back this this is never gonna happen again oh yeah oh exactly that's what Edison did and uh, there were others. Uh, you, you hold on to keys, or you hold on to something above a plate next to you, or something that's gonna make that noise when you drop them, because uh, you've fallen asleep. Uh, there's uh, 20 minutes, because uh, you don't. The chemical that actually shuts your body down has not been released yet, so you do get some rest but you have not been put under, if you will. And so you can wake up and not be, if you go 30 minutes, you're gonna be groggy as hell if you try to get up. If you can do it at 20 minutes, you're up, you feel like you've actually slept some and you're not knocked out. Fuck, I made coffee, god damn it. How long the fuck it, another <laughs> fucking cup of cold coffee, Jesus. <laughs> it's got the cold coffee. Actually, coffee sounds really nice right now. I might make myself some. How is it's it? It's warm enough. It's Good. warm enough. It's yeah. not. It's not hot. But if if a coworker were to be bringing me a cup of coffee, it may arrive at this temperature if they had a commute. Uh, I, there you go. I'm gonna try to look at a positive. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, damn it. Fuck. So do you think you're going to try to animate Karen for the Funk Fest? Um, she's doing it live. Oh, I'll yeah. I'm doing her live. I'll be uh, I'm going to put myself down in a corner. I'm going to have her. Oh, I've been, I've been asked to come out and do this song. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is. And uh, I, I've done it a couple times already. Uh, I've sung through it. It. I have to just make sure I'm already to the point where okay, I come pretty damn close. I the lines, I'm still working, you know. But I I do get them fairly well, and it's I need to just practice as her enough because I'm changing it all to Ima, uh, and uh, so the the flow is a little different. But it's it's gonna be fun. I, I'm making a special appearance. I, I don't ask what I've been up to or what I'm about to do, and uh, you know that that is uh, an FDR. I'm just gonna advertise the fuck out of the show. <laughs> I am gonna use I am gonna use that whole thing. Uh, 
I think I'm going to do one of the versions of FDR, What Does It Mean to You? I'm going to uh, try to bring that element in. Uh, fuck Drain Repeat is definitely getting shouted a couple times. I can't do the song without that. I'd like to put together some sort of real good graphic that works while I do FDR, What Does It Mean to You? Uh, so I could have some sort of... Uh, uh, two-minute video that I can leave uh, and have it loop. So it'll go through the two minutes uh, and then I can just leave it. I'll continue to play because it'll be four, four minutes and I can shut it down and go to my other scene. You know, fade to whatever other scene I'll be running with there. And I'm just going to advertise the shit out of FDR while I'm there. I may just do a blatant t-shirt ad. I may just be blatant <laughs> as hell with it. I can actually... I can run, uh, I can I can post right as Gary, <laughs> just right over, because, uh, you know, I'm the admin over there. So I'll just drop the uh, the threadless right there in the middle of the show. Fuck yeah, man. Now, that, that'd be wrong. That'd be wrong. I won't overstep. That would be wrong. Yeah. But I could. I'm just saying. I And I, I probably <laughs> won't do the, the whole, everything but the posting. I will go ahead and do everything else. I I'm gonna use that 25 minutes. Hell oh, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I don't think Gary would mind if you posted the link to the thread. List. He wouldn't. He would. I'll. I'll also. I'll have ads for it running in the background. I'll just have the standard while I'm talking to the people getting ready for the next song or whatever it is. I am gonna have another. I'm gonna get another. I, keep, I'm gonna get another I totally ready. keep spacing out to the changing color. I really love these graphics. I really love these graphics. Super cool. And it's cool that like we're all kind of individually making our own things based on the same artwork. You know, because right. it kind of gives it a, a diverse but unified feel. Like uh, Starfleet. There you go. <laughs> Here, you go. Here we go. Stupidest, stupidest thing to yeah. say. Like Starfleet. <laughs> I brought it back. I brought it back to Starfleet. <laughs> Monorail, monorail, monorail. You do painting, I do music and pop culture. Hell yeah. In comedy. Hell yeah. I love all those things. I will be right back. I have to go uh, change out the water in my bong because it's fucking filthy, dog. Dude, dog. Dudes, dogs. Fucking whatever. Whatever words. Good are. luck. Good luck. Hey. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. <laughs> <laughs> fucking all that drama. All that drama for changing out water. Oh. Man, that. Uh, that I saw a photo of the of the one with the teeth, the skull looking yellow, uh, orange, uh, and everything. And on here, it doesn't do it justice. Showing it on here does not do the detail justice uh, mm -hmm. on that uh, on that painting. Just so so amazed. Oh Jesus, that's that's a bigger joint than I I should have. I I have to use my brain here because I have to make this last. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was no, that was the, this is even good. I've cut it in two, and this is even a good size pinner for me. I got I got overzealous. I got over. I was mm, greedy. 
<laughs> greedy. Mm, greedy. <laughs> mm, greedy. Sometimes uh, the, the feelings come over, you know? You're like, mm, greedy. I'm going to have a lot. <laughs> what are things you can say while having sex and smoking weed? Mm, greedy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh shit! Are you taking hits during the sex, and and is it because, is it because you need the weed that bad, or the sex has gotten to the point where you're trying to spice it up by, well maybe if we take bong hits during it might get better. Is that, uh, how do you think, get to that point where you're smoking during? I is it during? That, maybe it's just it, because you're so addicted to the pot that you can't have, stop yourself from smoking. Whoa. There. There's a little bit of defensiveness coming from there. That seemed a little <laughs> off. That's, I have done that, but it's usually calls. because halfway through smoking the pot, things start to happen. If it's still going, I mean, you know, like, it's still going. I mean, <laughs> you know, like, why let it burn out? <laughs> you know, the, it's still burning over there. Let's let me finish that up. <laughs> I don't know. That's my attitude. And thank God we live in America, right. where everybody's free to <laughs> smoke pot where and when they want. While they're doing everywhere. No. Oh, thank you. It's called a uh, brass. <laughs> There's a little display thing on. Oh, they should make a riz, and it gives you extra riz. I've got tops backwards. There you go. Pot. Top. Hey, man, that could be a thing. You never know. Can't spell tops without pot. I mean, it's backwards, but it's true. <laughs> I think it's been thought of. <laughs> I, but I could, I could make that into the vibe song last night. I think the vibe song last night is what I'm going to land on. I smoke weed to get by. I smoke weed to get high. I smoke weed. That's what my body needs. It, and it's that same B note bullshit that I did the oh, yeah. pants off. And that gave me, and I was really able to get into, I smoke weed to get by. I smoke mm -hmm. weed. So uh, I think that's going to be my eight minute vibe. Uh, I'll do that and then I'll bring, you know, fun, or I may open with, uh, with uh, Super Freak. Uh, I'm. I may um, open with that because it is funk fest. Although the it would be a, one, it'd be a good strong way to start it. It would because it is. It is the comedy. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be funny. You know, I'm um, a very kinky guy. Would you also, <laughs> if you wanted to do another song as Karen? I think another good one along those lines. Would be, I think it's a Rod Stewart song. It's a. Uh, if you want my body yeah. and you think I'm sexy, come on, sugar, tell me so. On, if you, you really me. need me. <laughs> yes. Just reach out and touch me. Oh, touch me, please. Oh, God, <laughs> I want to be. I need to be touched. I, Ramon, he doesn't seem interested. He's. The coke is not helping either. He is not able to maintain an erection with that much coke. We need to stop doing all the coke. It's none of this is working out. We have to, move. We have to go somewhere else. Oh man! Yes, yes, I I like that. Oh 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 oh! Na 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 na! Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I wish I remembered the words. I think I could oh, figure man. them out. Yeah, I I know the song. 
I knew the one you were. It's like Rod Stewart. Oh yeah, oh, it'd be this one. Yes. Also, <laughs> I think another good one would be WAP. But I don't know how that crowd would react to WAP. AKA what ass pussy. Yeah. The, but Karen doing to, this, she would be fucking hilarious. I'm trying to think if the uh the the, the with the funk fest. Uh I I probably not I with would, that crowd. That, and I don't know with that crowd. That crowd's that crowd's all older. They're all Do older. you not know with that crowd? What'd you say? <laughs> Do you not know with that crowd? Is that what you said? You both said it, yeah. You both said it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was great. It was hilarious. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off. Purple's <laughs> laughing out there. He's loving every bit of it. So funny. Oh. It's too too damp. Karen it's too damp. What? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I said Karen wouldn't treat me like this. There was PCP water. There was PCP water involved. And I, I have moved on to cocaine and a lot more. And then the West the West all around here, he is really into the cocaine. I have noticed his persona that uh, he has. Oh God! Oh Jesus! He's he's. I gotta film. I gotta film that doll with the mohawk and everything. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he's uh, the kids have had him out, and a, a little girl will ask me, "Hey, will, will you do the voice of Wes? Will you do the voice of Wes?" And she just shakes him around while it's uh. That's fun. She and I, uh, we she was working on doing a video. We did a video, a uh, Limp Biscuit song, uh, break stuff or something. Or no, no, it was uh, it was I'm about to break everything that you say to me. It wasn't Limp Biscuit, uh, uh, but uh, we were doing that one uh, together, getting a little little crazy. That's fucking awesome. I brought it out the other night uh, there because uh, uh, Will. Uh, Will Dick from the Art of Floundering podcast had uh, typed up the chat GPT thing and all. I run to get the doll because I see the doll and it's filthy. It's filthy. I need to take vinegar and clean the shit out of this doll. But uh, I, I run over here and I get my earpiece in and the thing has begun. And there's I don't know how much I've missed. I don't know anything, but there's no way I'm going to be able to read uh, this this script over in the private chat. There's just no way I'm gonna read along and be able to perform lines with this character. So I just opened up with, "Oh man, I'm so fucked up. I think I'm in a play, but I can't read anything. So I'm just gonna do shit and smoke weed." And I just I was banging the pipe into the face of the thing, and <laughs> really fucking funny. I had no idea. It was just a. I had he brought out the he brought out the the weed pusher man and I just had my guy shoot him because my guy owed him a lot of money for the cocaine and all. It was like, well, I know I know how I can solve this problem. Just bam, bam, bam! I killed the weed pusher. Now I'm now I killed a man while I'm on drugs. Oh no, my life is over. <laughs> Emily, Emily, Emily! I just kept bothering her. She's up top. She's just fucking painting. She doesn't yeah. give a shit about any of this that's going on. It's obvious. And I just annoy the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Emily! Emily! He sat there saying my name for about, I don't know, felt like Where's 20 it? minutes, Wait, but it was like we probably a minute. We need some coke. I need more coke. He was, he was really fucked up on. Where's the coke? Uh, I don't where's know. the coke, Emily? Where's the coke? You probably know where it is. And whatever character, the two friends that are giving me the speeches, uh, they're doing an intervention on me, uh, and they've they've got names, and one is Satan, and so I'm just, oh my God, it's Satan! No, I'm your friend Mark. 
Is there anybody else seeing this? Is anybody else seeing Satan talking to me? I'm just I'm breaking down. No, I'm not letting that character be someone else. I see Satan. That's what I see. I wasn't playing sure. nice. But it was fun. It was fun then. I Because I had no word. There was no way I was reading the script. It was just, nah, I can't do this, man. I can't do this. It was three in the fucking morning. It was yeah, it was three. really late. It was three in the morning. I'd been high as fuck. Hell yeah. All right. Well, it is past midnight. I think I'm going to do one more hit, and then you've got something you want to do. You've got stuff you're working on, and I've got I've got more of a brand new game to uh, cover and review. And... Uh, and let's all remember those shirts are available in the and the sale ends on the twenty fifth, the twenty yeah. fifth. They're only thirteen dollars. Look at these friggin' designs. It's the one behind us. There's other, like four. There's tons of them. Go buy a shirt. Support Alley. Buy a shirt. Support Alley. Buy a shirt. Hell yeah! Cheers. I'm taking a hit. Cheers. Rabbit. Pole vault, anybody else hanging? I don't know. Peace and love. Cheers. Cheers and good vibes. Hope you're all doing good. We'll see you soon.